Um, the next item to look at is um, windows. So especially um, double or triple glazed units. Um, and nowadays there's, there's um, not that much difference between a very efficient double glazed unit and, a, and an in inefficient triple glazed unit. What you typically want to aim for is again that U value and that's co combined U value of glazing and frame um, of better than 1.2. Um, and there's another sort of useful uh, metric to be aware of is the window energy rating. Um, so you're typically looking at B or better um, in terms of that rating. Um, so a lot of emphasis with window systems is position. Um, so you typically want to have the window in line with your main layer of insulation. So if you have external wall insulation, you sort of want to avoid the window system being in line with just masonry or sort of proud of that. So um, that's a neat trick um, to think of position, but also integration. So you want to have an airtight link back to your wall. So typically taped or sealed in other ways. Um, another thing to be aware of is that triple glazed systems will raise internal um, surface temperatures. So they typically tend to be more comfortable. So you have less drafts. Um, drafts sort of sometimes um, appear just by the sur difference of surface temperatures. So you get sort of secondary drafts just by the surface of the window being cooler than the rest of the room. So triple glazed windows can avoid that. What they're also really good is at dampening noise. So if you're beside a quite a busy road or so beside a school, triple glazed windows can really um, alleviate those kind of um, noise related problems as well. Um, what you want to be aware of is that if you change your window systems, and this has led to a lot of moisture and mold problems in existence already, if you change window systems, what you typically do is improve your air tightness. So a lot of existing homes, sort of 1950s, 60s homes have had double glazed windows installed at some point. Um, and that's typically the time when the first mold problems um, occur so you get you get condensation and that leads to mold problems and that's typically around windows and sort of other junctions in the room so um, when you replace your windows what you also want to think about is how you um, create so sort of mechanical um, yeah a means of efficient um, ventilation um, as part of your retrofit strategy